Do y'all see that woman in the back? Okay, so she is grabbing the water and throwing it on the floor. Like, lady, why are you messing with the water? You know water's a valuable resource out here. What you doing? Go grab the juice. You messing with the water. Okay, so she's taking cases of water and she's throwing them on the floor. My thing is this. How dare you come up in here and mess with products that you haven't even purchased? I don't know why she's doing this. And okay, so what would you do? This looks like Walmart. I'm just gonna throw it out there. That's Walmart. <laughs> what would you do if you're in the store and you see somebody vandalizing the store? <laughs> Rudy in Essential Oil said, I'm still here. Good eats, driving and listening. Well, thank you so much for tuning in while you are driving. Thank you so much. So what would you do, Foodie Gang, if you saw somebody in the store vandalizing the store and taking cases of water and throwing it on the floor? Well, I'll go first. I'm about to mind my damn business. <laughs> And I'm going to act like I ain't seen nothing. And I'm going to do exactly what they did. I'm going to stand back. Pull my device out like this. <laughs> I'm going to do exactly. Look, look. It's, I'm not security. I'm only one chef. I'm not supposed to. You know, this ain't my store. So I'm not going to say nothing. I'm just going to stand back. Take my phone out and start recording. Or I might just look. But what would y'all do, Food Gang, if you saw this at the grocery store? Y'all, it be going down in the grocery store. <laughs> well, okay, so when I go to the grocery store, I don't really be seeing a lot of stuff like this. I see, like, you know, there'll be some homeless people on the outside of the grocery store. And, and you know, sometimes I have seen, I have seen people stealing in the grocery store. But like I said, it's not my store. I am a customer, and I'm minding my business. <laughs> and it ain't my business to go tell on everybody. So <laughs> you ain't got to worry about big bank telling on nobody. But yeah, she's vandalizing the store. Look, it looks like she even got the juice. Let me, let me just go ahead and play that one more time. I'm going to make sure that y'all can see, excuse me, exactly what is going on. She is vandalizing the store. Look, okay. If you're going to do this, just steal and get, get up out of here. But you don't got to be in here breaking stuff. <laughs> just steal what you got to steal and get on, lady. But, y'all, I told y'all this is going to be an explosive episode. I have some good videos lined up. And we we getting into it. We started off kind of, you know, kind of easy. Now we finna get into the raunchy stuff. So what would you do, Foodie Gang? Comment down below or drop your answer in the chat and let me know what would you do if you saw somebody vandalizing the store. This might be Fred Myers. Okay, so everyone is looking her way. So she must have gone through the store yelling real loud. 
But I wonder what would make you so mad where you feel like you had to vandalize the store. I never got those type of feelings when I went shopping before. But let me tell y'all, inflation will do it. <laughs> inflation will make you want to vandalize the store. Because they, they're playing games out here. They're playing games with our food. <laughs> I wonder if he's security. And is she going to the fridge? She about to get the eggs, y'all. I think he's security. But you know, I have a I have a friend that is a security guard. <clears throat> and this is all allegedly, I don't know if this is um security in their area, but this is for the company that he works for. He told me that security ain't supposed to do nothing. They supposed to make sure the parameter is safe or yeah, make sure it's all safe around and call the police. And that's what he said the scope of his job was. His, his job was not to be, you know, arresting nobody, just to you know, make sure the, the uh, area is safe and call the police. I know the police got to be tired. <laughs> they said, man, we tired of dealing with y'all people. Y'all got everything going on. I think he's security. She is vandalizing the store. What would you do, foodie gang? Let me know. This woman is on a rampage. I wonder what made her want to do this. <laughs> How y'all ever got so mad you wanted to vandalize the store? Or have you ever vandalized the store and why? <laughs> Oh, we already did. did. I already did. I already called the police. I should not be crazy like that. No. Honestly, girl, I'm going to read this. Man, if y'all don't just get y'all stuff and get out of here, skedaddle. <laughs> Look, I can't be no security guard. Because I ain't got time. I ain't got time. This one was up in here tearing up the stove. So I wonder if when you vandalize a store, when you get arrested, do they add that onto the fines that you have to repay? They be like, you damaged two cases of water, one of juice, a carton of eggs. <laughs> we need our money back. <laughs> Look, I don't know how this situation ended. And I wonder why the person filming stops filming. See, y'all, I'll be having so many questions. So, yeah, you guys, um, I'm going to drop the link for. Um, <clears throat> so I recently reacted to a TikTok video and I had the pleasure of getting the original content creator to come on to 907 Good Eats to tell his story about what happened. And he's a great guy. And he also has a YouTube channel. So on his YouTube channel, what he does is he lives near a train track and he takes videos of trains. So it's called, um, I think it's called, I think the, the, when you watch trains, it's like called train or uh, rail watching. And apparently a lot of people do it. Y'all, there are some really interesting YouTube channels. And so I'm going to drop the link uh, for that video. And I'll also drop the link for his YouTube channel so that you guys can all subscribe to his YouTube channel. He was a really nice person and he was really cool. So this is our interview. Get ready for some viral TikTok talk. So in this live stream, he came on to 907 Goody. I played the original video that I reacted to and we talked about what happened 
and what was the backstory behind the ribs that burnt. <laughs> and it was my first time, um, because I react to a lot of videos. It was my first time having a video that I reacted to, having the original content creator come onto the platform. So yeah, y'all, so let me know, what would y'all do if y'all go up in the grocery store and somebody's tearing it up? <laughs> I'm going to mind my business and I'm going to take my phone out like this gentleman did. And I'm going to record what is going on. I mean, it's look, there ain't much I can do. There ain't much I can do. You know? I don't know why this woman was tearing up the store like this, but she was. Okay. So, <clears throat> hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel. So, foodie game. Why do people can't just get their groceries and get up out the store? Ain't that serious? <laughs> 